fiber to fabric silk. Silk is one of the softest fabric. It's shiny, breathable and comfortable. It's always been a very valuable fabric. The only way to harvest silk is by killing the creature that creates it. Let's see how. Silk is made from the silkworm, which is actually a caterpillar of the silk moth. This caterpillar feeds only on the leaves of the mulberry tree. The life cycle of the silkworm begins from the eggs laid by an adult moth. A moth lays hundreds of eggs at a time. The eggs are carefully stored and warmed for the larvae to hatch. The larva comes out from the egg and starts feeding on mulberry leaves. They are given lots of mulberry leaves to munch on. The larvae eat for 20 to 25 days. The larva is known as the silk worm. Then the larva spins a protective cocoon around itself so it can safely transform into a chrysalis. It attaches itself to a twig or a branch. Now, in nature, you know that the chrysalis breaks through the cocoon and comes out as a moth with wings. But actually, the cocoon that it spins is the silk filament that we are looking for. If the chrysalis breaks through it, then the filament breaks. So, the chrysalis has to be killed before it can emerge out of the cocoon. The caterpillar forms the cocoon by secreting a filament and a gum. So, after the chrysalis is killed, the cocoons have to be soaked in hot water to loosen the gum. Then. The cocoon is brushed to locate where the end of the fiber is. Then it is unraveled. This is known as reeling the silk. What we get is called silk thread. They are separated depending on their color, size and quality. They are washed and then dried. After all the gum is removed, the silk thread looks creamy white in color. It can be dyed and chemicals can be added to it to change its finish. Most of the silk in the world comes from the silkworm that feeds on mulberry leaves. Hence it is called mulberry silk. These silkworms are all domesticated. Silk that comes from the tusser silkworms is tusser silk. These are wild silkworms. The largest quantity of tusser silk is made in China. India ranks second in the manufacturing of tusser silk. Airy silk comes from another domesticated species of silkworms. It feeds mainly on castor oil leaves. It makes a white or brick red silk. Muga silkworms produce an unusual golden yellow silk thread which is very attractive and strong. These are found only in the state of Assam in India. The quantity of Muga silk produced is quite small and is mostly used for the making of traditional dresses in the state of Assam itself. Making silk from silkworms is called sericulture. 
It's a very ancient science. Even with so many changes in everything else around us, this process really hasn't changed much. We have many synthetic fibers like polyester, nylon, etc. But they do not have the qualities of silk. Did you know that if you compare a strand of silk and a strand of steel of the same dimensions, silk is stronger. Researchers and material scientists are still trying to find out what it is exactly that makes silk so very special. What did we just learn? Silkworms are caterpillars of silk moth. During their life cycle, the worms spin cocoons of silk fibers. Silk fibers are made of proteins. Silk fibers from cocoons are taken out and reeled into silk threads. Weavers weave silk threads into silk cloth. <laughs>